Hey there people, yes we are back and we are back with a new but old news film so we're sorry for that and another thing is I won't be writing in this particular episode because I think I was injured back then. Nevertheless we have some very experienced writers to fill in my shoe especially when it comes to an off-road category. So without further ado welcome to Malaysian Riders and this is our first impression of the new KLS 150L. Enjoy! KLX 150L Built to replace the old KLX 150S, it comes with a 144cc single cylinder engine that has gone under some refinement to reduce the vibration and the noise, or so they say. The engine produces nearly 12 horsepower and 11.3 newton meters of torque. That is not exactly a lot, I know. But the point of this bike is to cater the beginner segments of light trails or probably some introductory ride to an off-road track. In any case, it should be enough to do the job of light off-roading. But now, let's give the bikes to the two riders we brought along for this film. Let's have a look at how Ray Ahmad and Hanif Rahman took this bike for a few laps on this Uluya motocross track. Here we go. Before we go even further with this, let's get to know a bit more with our riders here. The lad in red color motocross jersey is Hanif Rahman and the orange guy is Red Ahmad. The two comes with a pretty good motorsports background. Hanif competes regularly in the Malaysian motocross series throughout the year and Red on the other hand competes in the Malaysian super series in the 250cc category. So I have no doubt about getting some pure riding feedback from them and above all, they are much more experienced in off-road riding compared to me. So let's hear what they got to say about the new KLX. Okay, ini adalah kali pertama saya bawa motor KLX 150L ni. Ah yang mana saya tengok engine dia kebanyakan ni sama dengan yang model lepas iaitu model S. Tapi ada improvement daripada dia punya rim dan tayar yang mana dia depan gunakan 21 inci, belakang guna 18 inci. Dan swing arm juga uh, panjang ni baguslah untuk untuk highway uh, untuk long ride cruising semua. Uh, tapi bagus juga untuk landing sebab dia dapat absorb lebih uh, impact daripada. Oh, maybe be sebab dia tak, uh, ground clearance dia lebih. Okay. So lebih off road usability tu lebih baik lah. Ha, lebih baik. Uh, adalah sikit kelemahan daripada segi dia punya suspension belakang yang dia bottoming bila dia landing tu dia hmm. dia akan maksimum lah. Uh, maybe, maybe maybe motor ni bukan untuk uh, betul. kegunaan M motocross. Uh, dia. dia more on trail riding. On, on trail betul sebab dia ada tambahan baru lah. ada ada electric starter. Oh dulu tak ada. Ah uh, sebelum ni tak ada. Oh uh, terbaik lah. Dia pada Cik Anis tu macam mana rasa sebagai orang lama dalam bidang motocross? Tak lama sangat lah sebenarnya tapi boleh lah setahun dua setahun jago kan. So uh, untuk setelah kita testing ride dekat uh, MX track ni so obviously this is a proper motocross bike but it's not a bad thing because they are not built for ah, motocross ride kan ah. uh, tapi in term of power I think for road use it should be okay lah sebab dia tak expect nak naik 45 degree punya ah, you know, slope kan even tadi punya track trail yang kita bawa tadi saya ingat engine ni dah tak matinya rupanya uh, boleh jalan dia kuat stable lah I mean uh, kalau kita betul. go through deep saya mud saya sendiri terkejut dah uh, go through deep mud G1 tu kita kuat stable tayar dia maybe bigger tayar uh, more control over the off-road uh, uneven train lah kan compare to yang 150S last time too small for even for bigger size body macam kita uh, rasa kecil dia nampak kecil sikit uh, ini rasa proper lah sikit so in term kalau ada rider yang nak race boleh ni jadi begini uh, baik untuk good thing. Ha. So kalau nak race dalam uh, MMS 2014 ni race ni this bike boleh masuk kategori a uh, CKD lah. Ha. CKD uh. So even last time yang uh, KLX 150S masuk CKD lah. Considering the time that our rider spent on the bike Plus, it's only a first impression right of the new KLS 150L, I think we've said a lot of key points of this bike. 
certainly there could be more to be said. I understand that. But we'll be needing to do a much comprehensive test so that we can be sure how it really reacts in the real world situation. Because to be honest, all we've done here is to see the KLX capability to go around a closed circuit and in a controlled environment. Plus we have an army of Kawasaki mechanics around us in case if there's any problem with the bike. All in all, it was a positive comments from our test riders and we see the bike as something of a high value with its slightly higher price from its predecessor. And you can be sure, you are purchasing a bike which was built with the quality materials. Quite impressive actually. In terms of fuel efficiency, ride comfortability, how it moves on the tarmac and other stuff that relates with on the road environment, we can't really talk about it now but we predict that it'll do just fine but maybe not as agile as we think it will because the tire might react differently with the kind of size it's on now. Well anyway, our riders did their work and they are obviously enjoying their time on the bike here. And we gotta say, there are lots of things to talk about in the future so please do stay tuned with us in Malaysian Riders. So this is goodbye for now and thank you for watching.